So you have come to a Ideal Logic Combi ES35 with an L2 fault. This is all standard for pretty much all the um, Logic Combis, this L2 fault. So first thing we need to do is to see if we've got gas coming into the boiler. L2 is an ignition fault. So there's a number of different things that could cause it. First of all, no gas. We'll just check that we've got a gas supply. That's just covering off the basics. So there's a number of different things you could have. But no gas would be one thing. So if you've got a pay or token meter or card meter and you've run out of gas, that could cause it. Um, you could have a faulty gas valve. So the gas comes through here, through that gas valve into this into the fan and then is blown into the burner. So if, you, if that's faulty, the gas valve, it won't be sending gas up into the burner. After that, you've got the ignition electrodes, which is here, and the flame sensing electrode. So the flame is sent to that um, to the ignition electrode by the spark generator. So that could also be faulted. So let's run a through a few tests. The other thing it could be is a blocked condensate, but normally that you'd hear a gurgling noise, but at the moment we can't hear that. So we're just going to test first of all to see if we've got gas coming through. And by the way, don't do this if unless you're a qualified gas engineer. Okay, so we've got gas here. So we're going to reset the boiler to see if we get a blip. So we know we've got gas coming into the pipe. We want to see if the pressure drops when it tries to light. That would indicate that the gas valve is okay and is letting some gas through. So you probably can't see it there, but we did see a blip when it was trying to light. Yeah, slight drop in gas pressure as it tries to light, which means, well, it suggests, it does not a foolproof test, but it suggests that the gas valve is fine. I'm gonna go turn the gas off. Okay, so we know gas is coming to here. Why isn't it lighting? Well, what it does is sparks at that spark um, electrode, but you should hear a spark coming from that spark generator. So a good way to test it is to see if you're getting a spark jump from the generator onto that lead. So as it tries to light, can you hear it going? You'll see a, you'll see a spark jump. And what we're getting there is no spark. And this is suggesting there you've got a faulty spark generator. But what we're gonna do is turn the power off. Because what could be happening is that spark generator might not be getting any voltage. What we need to test, are we getting voltage to that spark generator? Just turn the power off while we do that. Turning it back on, now I can test it with my multimeter. Now we've got live on this pin, you can see the brown wire should be live. Neutral is the middle one. So let's neutral there. Let's see if we're getting 240 to that. If you're not getting 240, it suggests that you've got a faulty circuit board. We are getting 240 there. Well, it's going through the ignition sequence, fans lighting, 240 volts. So my diagnosis is the spark generator. So we're going to change that, see if it fixes it. Right, so we've changed the spark generator. So we're going to turn the power back on. Reset the boiler. Okay, we've already reset the boiler. So let's see if that sorts it. Fan runs, heard a spark, ignition, blue flame. The blue light indicates that the uh, burner's lit and it's stabilised, so that board is fixed.